What's going on, everyone, and welcome to another edition of NBA Top Prize Picks Plays presented by Prize Picks. As always, I'm Cooper Boni for Odd Shopper. You guys can find me on social media at Crash Bets. We had a 0 2 night last night, guys, not the start to the week that we wanted. Took Trey Young under 10 and a half assists. I believe he finished with 13. Didn't do much scoring, but had a good night assisting the Rock. Then we had Colin Sexton, guys. He had nine points at halftime. We took him over 13 and a half points, had nine points at halftime, had 11 points pretty early on in the third. Went on to score zero points the rest of the game. Finished at 11. An unfortunate 0-2 tonight, guys. But I have three plays for tonight, and it's Taco Tuesday over on Prize Picks. They're going to be throwing out discounted plays all day, so you guys go check those out. Before I hop into my picks for tonight, like, subscribe, click that notification bell on the Odd Shopper YouTube page. Also, guys, if you haven't already used that Prize Picks link down below in the description, look no further when trying to sign up. That is a free first match deposit on Prize Picks all the way up to $100, along with getting free stochastic materials. Let's go ahead and look at the three plays we have for tonight, guys. First one I want to start out with, Zach Levine, over four and a half rebounds. Zach Levine averaging 4.6 rebounds per game this season. That number has jumped up to 5.8 rebounds per game in the month of January. It's also worth noting that over Levine's last five games, he's averaged 6.2 rebounds per game, clearing this line in each game, as you guys can see from the chart. Levine has had five or more rebounds in nine of his 10 games this month. That includes each of his last seven outings. The Bulls are facing the Pacers tonight, guys. The Pacers allow the ninth most rebounds per game to shooting guards. They allow the most rebounds per game in the league to small forwards. Indiana giving up a ton of rebounds to athletic wings like Levine, guys. It's been all season long. The Pacers allow 54 rebounds per game overall. That's the fifth most in the NBA this season. Levine's played against this team earlier in the year. He recorded six rebounds in that one. Something I thought was really important, you guys, Zach Levine this month averaging 10.7 rebound chances per game. Last month, that was just 8.9 rebound chances per game. So last month, guys, 4.3 rebounds per game on 8.9 rebound chances per game. This month, 5.8 rebounds per game on 10.7 rebound chances per game. That's one and a half more rebounds per game on nearly two more rebound chances per game. I love how active Levine's been on the boards this month. Final note here, guys, this play's listed at minus 130 over on DraftKings. Play number two for tonight is going to be Bam Adebayo over one and a half blocks plus steals. Adebayo averaging 2.78 stocks per game over his last 10 games. He's faced Boston three times this year. He's recorded two stocks in all three of those games. He's had two or more stocks in his last 11 regular season games against the Boston Celtics. As of late, Miami getting more healthy, you guys. Bam Adebayo has been averaging 0.08 stocks per minute. If we give Bam Adebayo 34 minutes, I'm projecting 2.72 stocks, and I think he could easily play more than 34 minutes tonight. He's been playing 35 or more minutes in pretty much every single game that's competitive this season. This one has a 217.5 point total, a three-point spread. Celtics have a few Q tags on the injury report as of now, guys, both guards and bigs. Marcus Smart, Malcolm Brogdon, Rob Williams, all on the injury report as of now. Final note for this one, guys, this play's listed at minus 120 over on Caesars. The third and final play for tonight is going to be LeBron James over six and a half assists. LeBron James averaging 6.9 assists per game this season. That number's up to 7.8 assists per game in the month of January. LeBron had seven or more assists in six straight games before his last two outings where he had six and four. Now that line has moved back down to over under six and a half. LeBron's been averaging 14 potential assists per game in the month of January, guys. He's listed as questionable tonight. I fully expect LeBron to play in this matchup against the Clippers. I do like the idea of attacking this line right as it's gone down. LeBron's recorded nine or more assists in five of his nine games this month, guys. We're just looking for seven tonight. Final note here, this play's listed at minus 130 on points bet. That's going to be it for me, you guys. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, click that notification bell on the Odd Chopper YouTube page. If you haven't already signed up for prize picks, use that link down below. If you have a friend or family member that's been wanting to get involved, tell them to use the link down below, guys. Free first match deposit all the way up to $100. You're also getting free stochastic materials with that. Again, y'all, those three plays, Zach Levine over four and a half rebounds, Bam Adebayo over one and a half stocks, LeBron James over six and a half assists. I'll be back tomorrow with another video, you guys. Let's hope tonight goes a little bit better than last night. I'm really wanting to get on a heater, man. I feel like it hasn't been awesome the last couple of days. So let's get this thing turned around. Appreciate you guys stopping in, checking the video. I'll be back tomorrow. We can chop it up about what I have for tomorrow night and talk about how these plays went. All right, y'all. Later.